Hey guys, it is Theory Games here, and welcome back to part 5 of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last part, we explored Violet City, I believe that's the name of it. Um, and I told you all I'd be back when Zubat's level 7 because I thought I'd get astonished then. Well, I looked on Cerebi under it, just to look at it, and it turns out it gets at level 9, and doesn't get wing attack to level 13. And I thought I could do this, I thought I could do Sprout Tower all alone without the help of Cyndaquil, but I'm thinking I'm wrong with that. So right now, we're going to be doing the switch training in this part with Sprout Tower, but I mean, we'll still probably be going a little bit faster if I had a Totodile or a Chikorita, due to the fact that... Mr. Cyndaquil has Umba. Anyway, I record, I'm recording this right after, and I still actually have a whole, as you heard before, I actually still have a whole nother project I have to do. But anyway, this is Sprout Tower, a bell for over 100 feet tall. People say it's that it became the middle pillar here. It's interesting. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Sprout Tower is a long ago as a place with Pokemon training. Only people who reach the top will receive a wonderful move. However hard we battle, the, the, the tower will stand strong. Sage Nico about Sprout. No, trust me, I tried going against these things. It did not work out very well. <laughs> Well, we'll just be switch training. It won't be bad. Also, Vine Whip. I don't think we'll be doing a lot to me. Yeah, only one damage. I could take 33 of those. And we, and we have potions, so. Then if it's level 3 again, we'll try a few leech lives just to see how it works. But if it's anywhere higher than level 3, I'm gonna be switching. It's not. So we'll just try because I thought- I swore Bug was strong- I, I swore Bug was good against grass. But it's not. Oh, I'm just gonna be switching out anyway. Just cause. I think it's gonna be a lot easier if we do that. To be perfectly honest. Anyway, this LP is gonna probably be one of my longest LPs because, in case you guys haven't seen a video, um, a hard over silver LP, you go through Kanto as well, <laughs> and um, yeah, and you have to do all the gym gyms there, which I mean is really fun. And due to the fact that I'm gonna be actually exploring Kando twice because I'm gonna be doing a Silver LP too, but not for a while. N not to at least do one of each region. I have to do one of each region, which includes black, black and white, and then black and white. So I will do one of both of those, and then I'll go to do the duplicates. Except if there's three of them in the series, like Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, then I would add. I would be either be Diamond, Pearl, or Ruby or Sapphire. At the end, because I'm most likely doing Emerald first. I might do Ruby or Sapphire first, I don't really know, but that's too- but- but we're skipping too far into the future. <laughs> Let's head down the Lata. And we collected a Paralyze Heal, a Paralyze Heal. Put it in my medicine pocket. And let's continue on our journey. Hello, fine sir. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. We challenge by Sage Chow. Still level 3. We are level 6 now. Pretty excited about that. And Zinnacle's almost level 12, which I'm also really excited about. Because by the time we do Faulkner, which will be going to be next part, I would love to have them around level 11, both of them. Maybe even level 13, and by that point I feel like Zubac can stand his own against a few Pokemon. I won't say them all, but I'm not gonna say none of them. So we just got to level 12. Bellsprout. Because I believe Cynical evolved level 14. I could be wrong, don't quote me. But I 
I believe he does, so we might actually have an evol evolution in this episode. I highly doubt. Because probably time is gonna be the thing. Because we are already running past five minutes. Yeah, we're only on the second here, but I don't believe Bell Sprout I mean Bell Sprout. Sprout Tower is that big. So we might actually finish early. If we finish early, we'll go explore the rooms of Alpha. Yeah, this is pretty tedious, like, back and forth. It sometimes might get a little annoying. But I mean, Zubat can't handle his own against a lot of things right now. Until level 9, he's, he's stuck with these two moves, and those two moves aren't the greatest. So, we just have to do what we have to do. Yeah, I didn't know I wouldn't be getting a level 14. <laughs> Look how slow that's going. But I mean, we might actually be able to get Zubat up to level like 11, maybe. Which would be nice. Maybe. Probably not. Anyway, ooh. Trying to hide that Pokeball from me. I got an X accuracy. Let's actually see what Zubat's doing. Zubat is dancing around the pillar. Mmm. Are you? I, w I wouldn't choose that, Zubat. That is wrong. I sway the leaves in the wind. Oh, like, like, like leaves in the wind. Not, not, he doesn't do that. He's not that good. Anyway, Sage Edmund. He is level 3, like everyone else in this place. Let's go to Sindapil. I probably like when we got a level 12 fire type. We're screwed. I don't even know if we healed our Pokemon. Did we even heal our Pokemon? I don't know. Record level 7. <laughs> Bell Sprout gets the switch. Oh, we did actually heal our Pokemon. Yeah, then we're actually gonna try our oh, oh my god, this I guess this battle spread just to see how much damage a leech life does. I don't think it leech life does, because I don't think it does a lot. Yeah, not a lot at all. Yeah, I don't really want it. I don't I think that's I think that would be too tedious for me. Even this is really hard and just you're pressing leech life, like spamming it, is a bit interesting. I'm worried though, because- well, it, we still have enough embers to get through everyone. Okay. Another bell sprout. Shocker, what else do you have? Actually, the main sage, master sage, person thing. He has a better bell sprout. I mean, not better bell sprout, what am I saying? He, he has another Pokemon, but I'm not gonna spoil it, because I've spoiled a lot of things so far. Friday night. Um, I'm recording this on a Sunday, and I really do not want school tomorrow. And it's snowing tomorrow, I believe, but not that much. I'm, I'm praying for it away. I am literally praying for it away. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we even we're, we'll be getting any snow, to be perfectly honest with you guys. It is really bad. They really want snow. Alright guys, sorry, I am back. But we're on the front area, we have exactly seven minutes to fight most of the last trainers. If we go a little over time, that's fine. Our Sage did only have one, but he is level six, so watch out. He is strong. So the quill, you might actually get rid of two hearts this time. Oh my god, guys, two. <laughs> Just kidding. Me worried. I don't have a good I don't have a good time to do that. Everything just changed. Wait, oh. Oh, 
way I got it now. Well, we just finished him. Very quickly, actually. I'm a little surprised. There, Sage Neo. Yeah, the bell spell. Shocker. Level six as well. I think I might be getting a level off you. Um, don't really much to talk about, but you know, that's sometimes what happens with, uh, with parts. You just to make you some boy. I don't know though. Oh wow, we actually got to level 8. Go bay! We actually might get to level 13. Close! Very close, actually. Now then, there's gonna be one Pokemon that this Master Sage has that I will not be switching out for, and that is Hoot Hoot, because I need, um. I'm not gonna spoil it, but I need, uh, Cynical there the whole time. Sage Choice right now. Oh, Bell Sprout level 7. Ooh, guys. Getting tough, uh. Syndicate. New growth. Special attack rogue. Bay, you better run. But we still knocked out one hit. Oh, 63. You're definitely gonna roll off of that. Syndicate. Level 13. Almost sorry, quick attack. Ah, oh, yes. Get old move. It's actually tackless. 35. Quick attack is 40. You also got that, yeah. Bye, tackle. Da -da. Do I send up? Is gonna send another hoot hoot? Now that I'm actually not gonna switch into do that and back into ooh, back into Cyndaquil because hoot hoot has hypnosis. Um, I think I think he has to around level ten, so I would have been safe with this. No, I no, I wouldn't have. <laughs> oh no, hypnosis. And due to the fact I am. Six levels higher than it. I'm actually a little worried right now. It has tackle. I don't like tackle. And because I'm literally the worst person with sleep. Like, I always die from it. And it makes me really angry. <laughs> it makes me really angry. Stop tackling me. Stop. Stop it here. Thank you. Kill it. Kill the fire. Oh no, not not level 87. We got 87 experience from that. Okay, now then before we battle this guy, we're gonna quickly actually do a little bit of potions. On not on him, but on you. Question mark? I mean, no, not a question mark. Explanation point. You, you showed us what you've got, and it was indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The, the way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Oh, hey, Joey Bay. Dot, dot, dot. Hm. He called himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are ground Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Joey is a sweet rope. Hey, Elder Bay. So good of you to come here. The Spur Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Now then, we have Elder Lee. He's in center a level 7 Bell Sprout. Which is going to be no match for my level 13 because we've tried this before. I'm just worried about his Hoot Hoot because I believe it's, I think it's level 9. I think it's level, it's either level 9 or level 10. And that sort of scares me. He's a crazy person to on the Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot, yeah, I'm gonna just keep battling. It's level 10, I knew it. Oh, and that, that thing might actually be faster than me. If I get the burn off on it, I will be so happy. Ooh, pack. Oh, man. I should actually have a smoke screen. Yeah, I should have done smoke screen. Come on, bae, wake 
stop. Don't use pack because those things actually hurt. Or damage. Oh, I'm actually really lucky. Oh my god, now I'm actually my luckiest thing yet. And we got 123 experience. Battle spread, what do you like to switch? Yeah, how much time does it take? 51, we actually may be getting a level up. Hit. <laughs> I'm gonna hit from the one thing that I knew I didn't need. 63, 63. You got to level 14, Syndic Will. I believe you evolved to level 14. I could be wrong, but you know what? Whatever happens, happens. Ah, uh, excellent. Oh, wow, I got a lot of money. God dang. <gasps> what? Syndic Will is evolving. Part 5, we have an evolution, guys. <laughs> it's actually really cool. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Congratulations for Cyndaquil evolving to Quilava. Hmm, the way you battled is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner, and you should be able to make good use of this. It's a tactical machine called Flash. Take it with you. Thank you. You're so kind. And we will be getting our escape rope to escape out of here. But anyway, guys, after you escape out, that will, this will conclude part five. This part has been a lot more interesting than part four. By a long shot. We know so much more battling. But anyway, guys, I hope to talk to you all later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Bye, guys.